New tonight, the Little Rock Mayor and the Board of Directors holding their first meeting without Bruce Moore, the longtime city manager who died over the weekend. THV 11's Ashley Godwin spent some time at tonight's emotional meeting and brings us more. Ashley? There were a lot of hugs and tears this evening as the city tried to continue business without one of their own at the table. But leaders made sure Bruce Moore would be honored tonight. Who gave every breath of his life. Uh, to make Little Rock better. City manager Bruce Moore died peacefully this weekend at his home. He was the longest serving city manager in Little Rock's history and served in other roles in the city before that. His seat sat empty with his name and title over his chair and a bouquet of flowers resting beside it. Please pray with me for Luke, Shabon, Lena, and all of Bruce's family. Director Lance Hines gave the invocation, calling on prayers for not only Moore's family, but the city he loved. It was really Bruce who was the quiet person behind the scenes that, that made all those things happen. The city manager is the main advisor to the board and mayor and handles operational matters. In the board meeting, one of his last assignments regarding the March tornado was presented, a six-month outlook on recovery efforts. This will be the last, the you know, only, only presentation over the years that he's not here, so um, it, we just want to say we're going to miss him and uh, we enjoyed those 20 years working with him. In the presentation, there has been more than $3 million of FEMA money granted, and the city is working on Fire Station Number 9, Reservoir Park, and Murray Park. He knew, he knew all the details. He knew the backstory to everything, why we did or didn't do this particular thing. Uh, it's a huge job, um, and while nobody can fill Bruce's shoes, um, it's a critically important job for the city. Vice Mayor Webb tells me they will have to fill the city manager spot soon. The mayor will choose someone to fill the spot and the board will vote to approve it.